love to talk about this. Yeah, this is a very yeah. special instrument because it's my signature model. Yes. And um, it's called the Electra Leash. And it's basically this new shape that I've designed yes. so that it makes it easier to stand and play lap steel. Now before, I'm sure we'll see it in a little bit, but this is kind of an evolution and a, a partnership with Beard, but it started with your old Rick, right? And That's right. what you've used or created to kind of make it similar to what you eventually designed here. Because I love my Rickenbacker, I love the sound of it. Yeah. Um, and I had a holder built so that I could stand and play more easily. Um, but it's very, very heavy altogether. So yeah. When I partnered with Beard, the idea was to create something that was much lighter and much easier to stand and play with. Uh, off the top of your head, I'm not sure you're down to ounces and pounds, but what, what do you think the weight difference is percentage-wise? It's 50? half the weight. Really? Yeah. So it's a, this was six pounds. Wow, that's like going from like a big 10-pound Les Paul <laughs> to like a really ash or a pine telly. Exactly. Oof. What, what else should we know about it? Like pick up anything else that you, you yeah, had so, Beard do for you? So this is a um, custom Lawler pickup, exclusive okay. to this instrument, and it's a horseshoe pickup, magnetic. Um, and the shape of it, like we said, kind of like the Rickenbacker. It's yeah. definitely pay, play, paying homage. To yeah. It. Now, what did you tell Jason and the, the fine folks at uh, Lawler? I'm sure uh, Paul, I think Paul Beard, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Paul what Beard. did you guys all uh, have to say about the pickup that you were trying to probably maybe recreate with the old Rick sound? What were you trying to get there? I really love the Rick sound, and I really wanted to just bring that sound to this instrument. So really, it was just trying to mirror it as closely oh, okay. as we could. All right, and what should we know about strings that you use and tunings? I tune mine to open G, Okay. Um, and I'm using Ernie Ball strings. Is, is that a carryover from when you started on Dobro? Yes. Okay, so you, so you always live in open G. I do. And, okay. All right, Megan, I know you guys got two different guitars we're going to talk about. we got to start with this boat anchor, this historic <laughs> boat anchor. Tell me about this thing. That's right. So this is my Rickenbacker original. Um, and as you can see, this is the holder that I was talking about yeah. that a family friend helped me build. Oh, cool. And it's been with me for many years. I think it's a decade now. Now, is that titanium to reduce weight or what is the actual it's, metal? Yeah, it's aluminum. Okay, aluminum, yeah. Yeah, so it's as light as it can possibly be. Um, but you can definitely see that's the shape of my new guitar. So <laughs> yeah. I, I just laid this one down on cardboard? a piece of cardboard, okay. <laughs> just traced it out, sent it along, and the new one was made from that template. Well, can we hear it real quick? Yeah. Beautiful little panda of a guitar. Man, that, that sounds great. Yeah, I love it.